How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. We're back here with another video. We're getting some of the parts in for the new go-kart build. Today we have the 40 series torque converter. We got this from Go Power Sports. We're going to be installing it on the uh, 420 Predator engine. So I'm going to show you guys how this thing uh, is going to be installed, how to install it. So let me show you. I'm going to show you a picture of the instructions just so you know uh, if you get one of these things and you want to put it together and you don't have the instructions, we'll have a video of it. Okay, this is the 40 series torque converter. Uh, this is what it's going to come with. You're going to have all your bolts, your spacers, washers, everything is going to be included in this bag. You get a belt for it, your drive wheel, and you're going to have your plate and your other... This, I believe, is the driven wheel. So... Uh, and then you'll get a, uh, a cover and then you're going to get your instructions here and I'll show you a picture of the instructions up close just so if you lose your instructions you need to remount this on something you'll have something to go by so I'll show you a picture of that and then we're going to go ahead and start with the first step all right before I get started here as you can see I lifted the back of the motor about an inch off of the table. Uh, I measured it and it comes out to an inch. So we got an inch off the back of the table. So it's tilting the motor up in the back end a little bit. And the reason why is when you put your torque converter plate on there, it wants to hit this piece up here. So we have to drop it down just a little bit. So I got an inch spacer under the back of there. Okay, here's our first step we want to do. Bolt the bracket to the four tapped holes in the engine crankcase using the four 5 16 inch by one and one quarter inch bolts and 5 16 inch lock washers supplied in the hardware kit. Bracket may be rotated up or down if necessary. And we're going to do that step first and show you what they mean by up or down. And we'll just get this thing set up and get it on there. But we'll go by that step first. Okay, we're going to get ready to install our plate for our torque converter. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, holes right here. You'll see you have a hole inside, hole outside, the middle ones here for this torque converter. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what they mean by turning this, rotating it up or down, is when you line them holes up, you're able to turn them up and turn it down. But like I said, I had to put that on a spacer there under the engine to actually get it to set here. We couldn't use these bolts here because it actually would hit the head. Uh, we could turn it to use these bolts here, but I think that's going to put it too low. So we're going to use the center holes in this plate to bolt ours up with. Now, here is your 5 16 by 1 and 1 quarter bolts. And I'm going to use a little bit of anti-seize on the ends of these because, you know, if you don't anti-seize bolts, they don't want to come out. If In the near future, if you have to take this out or something, you want to be able to get it out. So we're going to go ahead and get all of our bolts anti-seized and put in here. Now you don't have to use gobs of this anti-seize, just leave a little bit. It's not an oil, it's just an anti-seize. To keep it from seizing up later in the future. So we'll go ahead and get these put in here and get them tightened down. Now we got them all anti-seized and as tight as we can get with our fingers, we're going to go ahead and work our way around here and get these snugged up real good. This takes a 13 millimeter socket, fits on there just fine. Okay, you just want to make sure you got these pretty good snugged up. Go over them one more time, make sure. Now we got our plate on here, we're going to be working on our drive pulley. Uh, so that's going to be our next step right here. This is the second step right here. Place the three one and one quarter inch by quarter inch spacers on the crankshaft. Extra washers 
are provided if more space is needed to bring the drive clutch the driver clutch in line with the driven unit as shown in the picture below okay this is our drive pulley now if we stick this drive pulley on now this this motor came with a key in there but we're not going to need that key there's already one inside of the drive pulley. Let me see if I can get you guys to see that. It's kind of hard, but there is, right there it is. It's got a key already in it, so you don't need that in there. So now, if you just push the uh, drive pulley back on there, it wants to hit these bolts. It's not going to work. So they give you a bunch of these washers. These are the washers. There's probably, let's see, there's five, six, seven. There's seven of these washers. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to line this pulley. Let me show you here. We got to line this pulley, which goes here, with this pulley back here. So we'll put on, we'll put three of them on there. And then we're going to come back here to the back. And we're going to look us right dead in the eye, as straight as we can. Now, as you can see, it looks like this is still back a little bit further than this pull, this piece here. So I think we want to bring it out just a little bit more. Let's put on a couple more. How does that look? Let me stand back here and look. It's not too bad. It, it looks better there. So we got five washers in there now. We have five washers in there. Let's pull one out and just see what four does. Okay, the last step we have to do is to bolt driver unit to crankshaft using either the 3 8 inch by 3 inch bolt or 7 16 by 3 inch bolt. Lock washer and cone washer. Install the belt. So that's our last step. All right. So now we have the correct um, amount of washers that we think we should have behind this. Uh, here is your cone washer uh, for this. This is the cone washer. So what you're going to do. So you're going to get your bolt here. We're going to anti-seize it like we did all the other ones. A little bit of anti-seize on there. Now we have four washers behind here. Now we can always adjust that if we have to. And we're going to go ahead and tighten this bolt down. For this is our, it's actually called the driver clutch. So our driver clutch is in line the best that we think. Now we're going to keep these washers handy in case we need to move it around a little bit. We'll have them off to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. This looks to be about a 14 millimeter. All right, we're going to give this a little tightening. We don't want to over tighten that, but we sure don't want that thing to come off. So I think we're pretty good there. I got my air gun uh, impact wrench on real low. Hopefully that's going to be fine. I think it will. Okay, the only thing we have left now is to put the belt on. So I'm going to start mine from the bottom here. And then we're just going to crank this guy around. Okay, 
our belt is on so now we just have a cover but we're not sure that we're going to use the cover but uh, we do have the cover for it if we do need it we have it all right that's how i installed my torque converter i hope you guys enjoyed the video i am uh, going to put up another picture of the guide uh, the instruction guide so you guys can see right at the end i'll put it up again so you can make sure if you ever lose your guide or anything you have something to go by to install this torque converter uh, i'd like to tell go power sports uh, thanks for sending out the um the torque converter i think this is going to be a great addition to my cart uh, these guys sell some good quality parts so if you guys are looking for any of these parts that i use in this build on in the link below down below in the description i'll have a link so you guys can go and get these parts uh, that we're using on this cart so there'll definitely be one down there for this torque converter if you're looking for one check out go power sports dot com and you're going to find what you need there so uh, we wanted to get this guy done so we can get it mocked up on the cart so we've got to get this cart cleaned up and get ready to get it painted but i want you, if i need any welding done i want to do it now before i get to painting so i'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like till next time